Hey guys, I'm here at the Airstream dealership in Milton, Washington here today, and guess what? I am inside an Airstream Base Camp 16X REI Special Edition today, and I'm going to be showing you guys some of the differences in this Base Camp comparing to my current Base Camp, which is the 2021 Base Camp 16X. Let's talk about the interior aesthetic of the REI Special Edition Base Camp. It feels like you just step into an REI store as you enter the Base Camp. Everything from the cabinet nets, the light golden yellow tone of birch plywood material, to the REI green color palette that unifies the aesthetic into feeling like adventures awaits. Replacing the cabinet doors with nets is a welcome change for those people that like to grab things quickly. I have cabinet doors in my 2021 base camp and they pop open during towing when we are on bumpy roads. These cabinet nets will definitely hold it better without popping out of position on rougher roads. The color scheme of the wooden material certainly brightens up the base camp's interior. It feels like you're going to be doing something adventurous when you wake up in the morning in the base camp. Whether it be hiking, biking, or doing water activity, you'll certainly be motivated and excited to start your day right with the vibe that the RAI Special Edition Base Camp gives off. Other noticeable aesthetic changes include RAI green metal frame for the shelves, marble white backsplash in the bathroom area along with a bigger shower head, and padding for the dinette is now a single color that matches with the rest of the color scheme. The padding fabric feels similar to the 2021 Base Camp. It's sprawling marine fabric that is resistant to flame, bacteria, and stains. I personally love this fabric and it still looks new after more than one and a half years of usage in my Base Camp with two dogs. Let's move on to the kitchen. Airstream decided to switch from a Dometic gas range to a Suburban gas range in the REI Special Edition Base Camp. I cook a lot in my base camp and have never had issues with the Dometic gas stove. However, the Suburban gas stove in the REI Special Edition base camp has a bigger grate that will offer more balance for larger pots and pans. The kitchen sink has a deeper sink bowl with a static faucet. My wife absolutely loved this, but I still like the folding faucet in our current base camp better. It's definitely easier to wash bigger pots and pans in a deeper sink. Perhaps one of the most convenient new feature is the built-in water filtration system. According to Airstream, it uses UV LED to reduce bacteria and microorganisms. Though this is convenient, it just can't be having a travel Berkey that filters both chemicals and bacteria. With the fresh tank holding only 21 gallons, it just isn't enough water for regular activities and drinking when I'm boondocking for roughly 5-7 to seven days straight. I would have to bring an extra 6 gallons portable water tank for drinking. Sometimes I'll even get water from a well or a river, which you do not want to fill the base camp's fresh water tank with. With that being said, the water filter in the REI Special Edition Base Camp is a convenient feature if you are going on a weekend trip or trying to stay at a hookup site with a reliable source of potable water. Next up, let's talk about heating in my current 2021 Base Camp and how it has changed in the REI Special Edition Base Camp. The 2021 Base Camp has a unified heating system through the Truma. The Truma is truly an expensive and quirky piece of equipment. Its quirkiness can cause a lot of frustration for people who are first time users. The Truma takes on both tasks of heating the base camp and water. It takes at least 10 minutes to heat up the water and about another 10 minutes to heat up the base camp in cold weather. It also prioritizes heating water over heating the base camp when you turn both the heat and water heater on at the same time. The REI Special Edition Base Camp has the new Suburban tankless water heater that will give you instant hot water. You just set the temperature of the hot water and it does the rest for you. It operates independently from the Dometic furnace. This is a welcome change because you don't have to replace the whole system if only one function is broken. The Truma is expensive to replace and it is actually cheaper to replace the Suburban and the Medic heater independently. I'm sure that the new Suburban and the Medic heater has its quirkiness also, but I'm confident that the kinks will be worked out as more and more people use it. 
Perhaps one of the biggest change and reason to get the RAI Special Edition Base Camp is its factory option to add on different solar packages. The entry solar package comes with 200 watts flexible Merlin solar panels, which is different from the 190 watts ZAMP solar panels in my current base camp. This solar package could be upgraded into a 360 watts Merlin flexible solar panels with 200 amp hours Batterborn lithium batteries. I would absolutely choose the second solar package if my goal was to boondock all the time. However, I find that my current base camp's 190 watt solar panels and AGM battery is sufficient for my camping style of mixing camping trips at state parks and occasionally boondocking. My only concern for the REI Special Edition base camp is the longevity of the Merlin flexible solar panels. I've heard that flexible solar panels degrade rapidly over time compared to traditional solar panels. I'm sure that Airstream did their research and chose the best flexible solar panel brand for the base camp. Only time will tell if these new flexible solar panels will hold up. Airstream also moved the control panel to a unified spot on the inner wall of the RAI Special Edition base camp. It used to be accessible by the door as you step into the base camp. I find this change strange because I have my bed set up all the time in my base camp. It would require me to climb on my bed to adjust the setting and the heater and check the monitor. Maybe I'm used to my current base camp and have not had a chance to experience the convenience of the new spot for the new control panel. Last but not least, let's talk about the flooring in the base camp. Unlike prior years, Airstream changed the flooring of all base camp 2023 models into composite flooring made by Rich Transcore. The material is not made out of wood, which results in a more durable, water-resistant, and long-lasting product. It is a single sheet of composite material that runs from the front of the base camp to the very back. From first impression, it feels like a garage floor lining that is easy to clean and scratch resistant. The flooring in my base camp looks nice, but it definitely will scratch easily if I'm not careful with how I handle it. Overall, the new flooring is a subtle change that will have long-term benefits. To summarize, the three most important changes in the REI Special Edition Base Camp compared to my current Base Camp are the REI color scheme, the Suburban Instant Water Heater, and the ability to have a larger solar package. Who is the REI Special Edition Base Camp for? It's for people who do not yet have a base camp. It's for enthusiasts who love the aesthetic of RAI and people that want the best features that Airstream has to offer. I already have a base camp that I'm super happy with and I would trade in my base camp just to get an RAI Special Edition base camp. All the new features in the RAI Special Edition base camp is great for someone who is a new base camp owner. However, I've already gotten used to my base camp and figured out a solution to all the quirks and annoyances after one and a half years of usage. Let me know what your thoughts are on the new RAI Special Edition base camp. What do you like about it? Would you consider getting the RAI Special Edition base camp? Would you consider upgrading from your current base camp? Leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.